Any time an excavation is to take place, the location of the underground utilities is required before the operation begins. This is a free service provided by the utility companies. Street maintenance's responsibilities also include locating the underground storm drain systems and their structures. The contractor who is doing the excavating calls the locate center with information regarding the operation. After noting the information, the locate center sends it out to the various utility companies and it then becomes their responsibility to locate the utilities. Once the field locator receives a packet of locates from Street Maintenance Control Center, he needs to cross-check each locate form with his drainage book, noting if any of the locations have multiple structures making it difficult to determine where the laterals lead off from. To remedy this problem, a larger scale map can be printed of the area showing better detail. Read each locate form, especially the portion entitled Additional Dig Information. Sometimes the information gathered here can help in determining whether or not a storm drain needs to be marked. Also view any maps that may be attached. These help in locating the exact spot where the contractor wants to dig. The taxicab map book is a useful tool in locating lot and block numbers. Remember though, it is a copyright violation if any item of this book is photocopied. If questions arise that cannot be answered from the contents on the form, call the contact person by phone and he or she should be able to help. The last thing that needs to be done is plan out your route by marking each location on an erasable map. This is a time saver that helps in preventing any backtracking. Various tools needed to be taken into the field are a case of green paint, a metal locator, a high-powered flashlight, a pick with a sharp point, a lid puller, a paint stick, a round point shovel, a sledgehammer, a digging bar, and several cones. A clipboard, a pen, and the most important tool, an up-to-date drainage book, round out the list. Safety is the utmost concern when working in the street. A good habit to get into is placing the locate vehicle between where you will be working and the traffic behind you. Turn on your four-way flashers and caution light bar when setting up. Bear in mind though, improper usage of the light bar could cause an accident. Notice how the arrow is pointing to the left on this two-lane road. The traffic approaching behind the arrow board are being informed that they are to proceed around and to the left of the locator's vehicle. This then puts them in harm's way with the traffic going the opposite direction. The proper usage of this light bar would be the caution symbol. This would signal the traffic approaching from behind to use caution in passing. Remember, the only time an arrow is used is on streets that have two or more lanes traveling in the same direction. Place the cone next to the structure as a warning device of an open hole. The drainage book is a valuable tool. But do not trust it to be 100% accurate. Physical viewing of the storm drain system is essential in making accurate locates. To do this, the structures need to be opened. Sometimes the lids are hard to take off because of rust, so use a hammer to loosen it up. Remember to use hearing protection. Be careful when lifting and dragging the lids off the structures. Remember to keep your back straight and lift with your legs. A high-powered light helps in identifying the laterals. Once the line has been identified and the direction established, paint a mark on the surface showing where the pipes are located. Before replacing the lid, Clean the edge of any dirt or debris. 
This helps in getting the lid properly fitted back onto the manhole frame. Now the heavy one. Is that an old? Storm drain laterals are not installed with a locating signal wire like other underground utilities are. In order to locate these lines, you need to find the other end of the pipe. The drainage book in most cases can help in determining whether the line connects to another structure or ends in an open ditch. Once you have found the end of the pipe, place the cone there to use as a reference point. Return to where you first saw the pipe, line yourself up with the cone on the other end, and begin walking a straight line back to the cone. Paint the surface with green paint about every 5 to 10 paces until you reach the ending point of the location. Depending on the length of the locate, you may have to use this technique several times before reaching the ending point. Storm drain pipe is available in all sizes, from as small as 6 inches to as large as 72 inches. Hand digging is required within 2 feet of the locate mark, which in some cases could still be a part of the pipe. Therefore, any pipe larger than 24 inches should have two lines painted showing the outside edges of the pipe. By looking down into the basin, determine where one side of the pipe is and mark it. Find the other side and mark it as well. Do not be overly concerned about being exact because it is virtually impossible. Just do the best you can. Find the connecting basin and do likewise. Place the cone on one line as a reference point and beginning at the adjacent mark, begin walking a straight line back to the cone painting as you go. Do likewise for the other mark as well. After completion of the locate, a documentation of this needs to be recorded. Write down on the locate form the date and time of completion, if the locate was completed or if there was no conflict, and then initial the form. Storm drain structures have several types of covers, but all are designed to be removed for accessibility. A pick is very useful in removing the rolled curb grate. Position the point of the pick through the center slot and under the back edge of the grate. Pull the pick handle towards you, causing the grate to stand on its edge. Grasp the top edge with one hand and remove the pick with the other. Then using both hands to balance the grate, lift one corner and then the other, walking it back safely from the basin. Be careful not to drop the grate into the basin. Physically view the insides and paint the location of the laterals on the surface. Again, clean the edges of the frame before replacing the grate. To replace the grate, kneel down in front and by keeping the back as straight as possible, lift the outside edges until the grate is balanced on the back edge. Walk the grate back to the frame and set the edge into the frame slot. Then let the grate fall backwards. You may have to adjust it accordingly by pulling it back and into place. Side intake covers are much like the standard manhole lid shown earlier in the video. Remember lift with your legs. In most cases you will not need to loosen the lid by hitting it with a hammer. But if so, place your hammer blows on the outside edges because these lids are not as strong as the standard manhole lids and can be easily broken. Again, as always, clean the edges of the frame before replacing the lid then drag it back into place. Another cover that is becoming more popular is a standard curb grate. They come in two different sizes, this one being the smaller version. They occasionally will be troublesome to remove and may need to be hit with a hammer to loosen it. As with the side intake lids, 
Hit the outside edges to keep from possibly breaking the grate. Treat these style of lids just like the rolled curb grates when removing. Because of the flat design of these lids, to make it easier to stand back up on its edge, place the pick close by and lay the lid on it. This creates a gap so that you can get your hands under it to stand the lid back up when replacing it on the frame. After cleaning the edges, walk the lid back onto the frame. Just like the rolled curb grate, be careful not to accidentally drop the grate into the basin. This is the larger version of the previous grate. These are usually found on high volume streets and intersections. Because of their size and weight, do not attempt to lift this particular style unless you absolutely have to. And if that is the case, get someone to help you. Peer into the basins of the slots utilizing the high powered flashlight to illuminate the basin to determine where the laterals are. Although not as heavy, beehive lids can be treated just like the previous large grate. The wide slots allow for ample viewing from above. The slotted lid can either be viewed from the top, much like the beehive lid, or removed like a manhole lid is removed. If using the latter method, remember to lift with your legs. Occasionally, structures shown in the drainage book will be buried so a metal detector is needed to locate the hidden structure. Metal detectors are limited in their depth capacity, and in some cases, the object cannot be located. If the structure cannot be found, call your supervisor and ask for assistance. Storm drain manhole lids are very similar in size to sanitary sewer lids. Because of this, once you locate a lid with a metal detector, you may have to dig down to the lid to verify what kind of structure it is. This is usually the case when the storm drain system and the sanitary system are running parallel to each other. A safety vest and hearing protection are required on the job as well as gloves and steel-toed boots. These items are all provided by the municipality so there is no excuse for not having them. On heavily traveled streets, traffic will pick up your freshly sprayed paint and track it down the street so try to place your marks where they will least likely be tracked. In between driving ruts is a good place. Watch out for traffic when working on a busy street. If you think it is too dangerous, note on the locate form that night shift should locate the system and make sure that the control center is informed of your decision. Notice how the traffic is straddling the paint marks and the marks are left untouched. You may encounter some confusing directions from the locate form once you reach the field. If that happens, call the contact person listed on the locate form and get some clarification. Well, the, my, my ticket. Locating storm drain for street maintenance is a viable operation in that it protects the systems from accidental damage. With more and more utilities being placed underground along with established and newly installed storm drain systems, it becomes a necessity for companies to request locates before digging, otherwise this could take place. 
damaged storm drain system could cause thousands of dollars worth of property damage. Remember, you are the last link between the excavator and a perfectly functional storm drain system, so accuracy is essential.